What is up, every guy, everybody? Pan Panda, Panda, Panda Pops, Pops here. Okay. Ooh, so today we're gonna go over all of P Super Pandas Pops and re and review them out of five stars. Um. Yeah. Okay. We'll I say we start in the Star Wars. Eventually. So this is the Star Wars section I have down here. Okay. Let's start on Darth mm -hmm. Vader and work our way back. Yes. Okay. So this. Is Darth Vader. This is like the electrocuted one, if anyone knows the scene. From Return of the Jedi. Jedi. Yeah, where he gets electrocuted by Palpatine and turns While back saving to the Luke. Good, yeah, because he turns back to the good side. I really like this pop. Kacen doesn't feel the same way. Exactly. Um, it's cool, but in a weird way, according to Kacen. Yes, I like the electricity, and I like the head. It's clear. Personally, I rate this pop 4 out of 5. I do you say Kacen? It's not my favorite pop out of all of yours, definitely. It's cool, but in a weird way, so I'd say it's a 3 out of 5. Okay, and next... Let's move on to Django Fett. We both have the Django Fett one. Yes, this is... Wait, why don't you get a better, like, closer to it? Honestly, all my Star Wars pops are pretty amazing, if you ask me. Other than Han Solo, we don't speak about that. Okay, so Django Fett... He's got a cool base if you look right there. I love the base on this one. Uh, I like how he's like flying back. Let's and I like how they put this. And let's get a 360 view. Of it. If you look at this side, you can see like all the, like you can see how it is. And I like how his head is head is and tilted and stuff. There's a bunch of detail like on his arm. You can see like all this stuff on his gun and stuff. Um. Yeah, I like it. It has the guns as well. Like he's aiming them. At I something. give it a four out of five. Uh, I'd probably say three. I don't know. Django Fett's not my favorite character, though. It might be a little biased. Okay, let's see. Han Solo time. Okay, okay um, I rate this one two out of five. I Actually, one out of five. Same. It's, like, really basic. I got it. It was really cheap. I like it, but it basically looks I don't like love it. It's like Han Solo when he's an old dude and he has a blue jacket. There's something more iconic about it. Maybe I would like it. I think it's like plastic. it's not as iconic jacket or anything. I love the stands on all the Star Wars ones. Okay, uh, let's do Wicket now. Actually, you never got to see the back of Darth Vader, so here it is. It's got his cool cape and it's oh, it's cool. oh, I didn't look at the back. Actually, I changed that to wait. What did I rate it before? Three. I give it a four. Oh well, I give it a four now. Okay. Because this is the big pop. Okay, this is ten, ten inch Wicket. I almost got tinier Wicket as well, but no, I didn't. There's no reason to get both. If you have the big one, disagree. I think it would be cool to see it next to it. I mean, yeah, that would be cool, but like, <laughs> whatever. This you one gets a five out of five for me. Same I love here. it just because it's huge and, and it's got all the detail. Like, it's got every and single string. And the hair, yeah, this is really cool because it has the fur and the and eyes. Stuff. The eyes are so clear and, stuff. and its head. Yes, it actually bobbles. Bubbles. It's amazing. And it's got a huge stand. Its eyes and I like its mouth, like because see some of them, not of most of them have mouths, but, but some the of them that do. Stuff. The one we just did a video on. I don't know if we're going to release that before or after this. We did it on Thanos and the Thor. He has a mouth. Sneak peek at yeah. that. And so does Kool-Aid Man. Kool-Aid Man. And I like the mouths from the Pops because most of them are like... Basic. Or, well, not basic. They're also like crafted into it. Like, See, if you look at um, Tony Stark's like, he beard. He have a mouth, but you know where it would be. Well, yeah, and his beard is like painted on there rather than popping out. I like how the mouth... Pop out on all the ones that have mouths. I love his spear and how his hands are there and his short little legs with his feet. His head actually kind of turns. It's kind of weird. Okay, so let's go on to. Right Why go okay. on to this shelf now? This is like basically my Infinity War ones. We already reviewed this one. We reviewed um, this one. I give it a. F I'd give it four a four and, and a half. Out of five. I give it four and actually, a half. Actually, four and a half. I really <laughs> like it, and I don't. I want to give it five because it's like the axe isn't completely going. In. Yes, this is the reason. See, the axe doesn't go in all the way. And it's, it's slightly triggering. And, and then there's Hulkbuster, which I really like. Casey really likes I think it's pretty good, but it's not my favorite. I give it I give three. it a 5 out of 5. I'm surprised you give it a 5 out of 5. Okay. It's so cool looking, There's though. a lot of detail in it. Yes. Yeah, it's, and it's kind of... I it love bobbles. the head on it, because it, like, barely bobbles, but it's so, so And, fun. like, it's not big, but you can tell it's still a pop head. Here's the back of it, in case you were wondering. I haven't I seen the back, the and now the back. It's actually pretty I cool. haven't seen the back before, and now I give it a 7 out of 5. Okay, no, you can't do that. Yes, um, I can. I just did. It's like when coaches say give 110%. Okay. It's impossible. Okay, we're going to move on. I love this one. I give it a 4 out of 5. Kool-Aid Man. I, know I give it a 3 out of 5. Kool-Aid Man is amazing. He's waving to you. Kool-Aid Man says hi. Kool-Aid oh, Man yeah. says, oh, yeah. Um, and I give it a 3 out of 5. 
I love, once again, there's, like, the mouth, because, like, it wouldn't be cool Aid Man without the mouth. It would just be slightly mouth. concerned. It's, like, really basic, which I like, and it has the, it has the ice, ice on cubes. top and stuff in the full picture. But here's the thing. There's an effing handle on it. Sorry to say the effing thing, but in case we we'll bleep that out, actually. Or it'll just cut it out. Or it'll just, it's effing. And then there's Superman from Flashpoint. Yeah, effing, I mean freaking. Yes, this one. Or farting. Okay, this one gets a two a out of five from me. Um, Actually, wait, did I get? I maybe give this a one or a two. I don't I know. Give it's it a like one and a half out of five. Weird. I mean, I yeah, I give it maybe a two actually. I don't know. I like it. I like the cheeks. The cheeks like it's got detail, but go it's, in. It's super basic and it doesn't. His body's pretty much all gray. He's just a regular hands. Something's definitely wrong with his pinky finger. On his right hand. I oh like gosh. how he's six. I never looked at that before. Um, I give it a one now. <laughs> he has a signature <laughs> Superman curl. He's, he's so skinny, though. He, like, barely stands. If you look, he's leaning up against this. Like, see if I move forward. He dies a horrible death. And here's one of my favorite out of Garrett's. Batman. <laughs> yeah. Is this... Is this um, a special Batman, like 80th anniversary? Or it's something? 80th anniversary Batman. It's not like hard to get or anything. I don't think. It's just. 80th and it's not like worth a bunch or anything. Cool, I just got it at a fight. It's got a cool box. I love the cape on this one. It's so cool. It surrounds everything. I give it a four out of five. Same. Uh, I like how his eyes are like half, almost half closed and half open. He's like, but like out of all of your other ones, I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure no one else really has the squinted eyes. And the nose, like, Except I know they the all nose. have the same nose, but the nose works perfectly for Batman. I like the ears as well. The ears are kind of spiky. Yeah. yeah. That's why it's a 4 out of 5 for me, not a 5 out of 5. I love the detail on the cape, how it indents and stuff. Rather it's than a being great adorned. cape. Okay, should great we move character. on to this one? I like the purple gloves and the bat symbol. Do we go up here to this part? Yes, okay. Uh, this one is amazing. I Casual Thor, a.k.a. Thor. I give, a, I give it a 4 out of 5. 3 and a half. Actually, yeah, I agree with that. Three and a half. I like his sandals. It has these nice wrist thingies. His, it looks a lot like Big Lebowski. Um, if you look up here, there's a lot of detail in the hair. Just yes, so. it goes around like that. He has nice sunglasses. Three out of five his, for casual. His so beard is also... Yeah, and he has a nice shirt, too. It's blue. Okay, um, Captain Marvel. Let's get this going. It's okay. kind of basic. Uh, I wouldn't say it's basic. I like the detail in the suit. I mean, like... It's it kind but of I don't, the body I don't reminds know. me of Flashpoint Superman if you look like this. Uh, yeah, but it's detailed. Flash, Flashpoint Superman is just great. I like the pose yeah. on this one. I give it a two and a half. Actually, I'd give it. Wait, what? Did I rate it yet? I don't know. Give I'd it give it a two or three. <laughs> two and a half. I like the hair on this one actually. It's got like a good the amount face. Of the head is pretty basic, but a lot of them are. Okay, moving on. Oh, we're okay. gonna move on to a different one, but I'm just gonna move on to Hawkeye, actually. I like the mohawk on Hawkeye this one. Ronan. That's how I'm starting it. Well, it's a Ronan, kind of, but I think he's listed as Hawkeye. Uh, I give I it a four out of five. Because honestly, I just love that Three and character. a half. Or four. I don't know. I need to stop saying half. Um, three, four, actually, yeah. I love the detail on the gold and black. It's such a nice suit, and it's t nine out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> and if you look, let me see. There's a really nice bow, and like the strap on the back, and there's like a saddle. I love the detail. I don't, it's not a saddle, whatever. The bow to the sash thingy. Um, yeah, moving on. <laughs> this is like, I rate all of the ones in the team suit, besides my special one, like a three. Honestly, I'm pretty sure that I, Thor, the Thor, is that Thor the best doesn't one. look like the other Thors because it's like before the movie came out, so they couldn't spoil Fat Thor. Oh yeah, good point. I didn't think about that. Um, yeah, How he has did you a not scar. Think about that? He has okay, just stop he, has he has a scar. One of my favorite things about this is actually that they changed. Like, if you look closely, they definitely changed the color of the eye, like the one that's gone, and also his, his axe in his hand. I mean, I don't like the team suit. Like, I like the way the team suit looks. It's just all of them have the team suit pretty much. And then a few. Uh, yeah, he's getting logged, so we're gonna move on. I'm gonna Iron give Man. him a 4 out of 5. I like the axe, too. The axe has a lot of oh, detail. Yeah, that is fine. This one gets a 2 out of 5. It's Tony Stark. I really like Tony Stark in the movie and everything. It's I just a really basic character. It gets yeah, it's a... just the team suit with, like, a regular hair. The only reason I like it, I, I kind of like the beard, but don't. I think it would look cool if it was styled in, but it's, it's like, basic looking. I like his pose, as well, kind of. 
Uh, his hair is pretty detailed. It's just a really basic character. Especially Here, I'm going to grab this one out of the back. Yes. Okay, do that. Um, here, you want to grab it? I don't trust myself. Because, like, the head doesn't... Okay, here, here want me to hold it for this one? Um, you don't have to. You can just set it down. Okay. Yeah. Um, this is six-inch Hulk with Infinity Gauntlet. I give this one a four, four and a half out of five. I, really I give like it a it. three out of five. But it's amazing. I don't really like the clothes because, like, this... all the other clothes are, like, built out, but... Yeah, I don't know. I kind of like it. Wait, and if well, you look at this, this is six-inch... Wait, compared to just like the big ones. If you compare it to the ten inch. Oh, well, Wicked is a quite ten inch, isn't it? Maybe he is. Or maybe it this seems so short. Six. I still really like it. It's pretty tall, but but a Wicked. Uh, I love the Infinity Gauntlet on it. Yeah. I knocked over Ronin. You said you liked Ronin. This one I just got yesterday. Same with the movie Thor we went down weapons. there. It's Thor with both his weapons. This is the end fight scene. The you take spoiler. the little one. He has it's the before, Stormbreaker. Like, yeah, it's, it's be before the fight, like, when they're all walking up. Yeah, and he has the... You could not live with your own failure. Where did you bring him? Back, Back to me. me. He has both his weapons. I really like both We did ones. that in the same exact voice. Back to me. Um, yeah. I like his hair, too. Gee, thanks. Mm -hmm. Just one. <laughs> what does Casey have to say next? It's a pretty solid pop. Like, the cape's pretty cool. Yeah, I was gonna say... No, and his hair's really tied tight. up. Yeah, it's pretty. Up. And you can tell, like, it's if you look at the other Thor, his cape is still like completely red, but like this one's faded a little. Yeah, I'm, I'm not mean, sure if they're the, the cape same cape the though. Yeah, yeah, good point. They kind of just summon the cape, so. I give it a th th four out of five. Four out of five too. This one's really cool. It's iconic. It's amazing. Okay. I haven't taken this one out of box. I'm not going to. I don't think unless Casey thinks I should. I don't really need to. It's like so. The thing about this one is Fy exclusive. It came with a box with a T-shirt. Um, are you wearing the T-shirt? No. no. You're always wearing the T-shirt. We do need to sign this. Oh, War Machine. That's one of my favorites out of yours. I really like the War Machine for Avengers Endgame because it's one of the ones without the team suit, and it's really detailed and stuff. Um, I like his gun and his mask, and Miss Casey like. I like how it has, like, there's so much detail, like, you can see the red, and, like, you can see the knee, like, the military thing right there, the star, and then there's so much detail on it. I give it a five out of five. Really? I give it a three. Yeah, is I that, like, it, it's is that like, the first five out of five I've given? Because I, I gave, we gave Wicked a five out of five. I gave Hulkbuster seven out of five. No, you can't do it. Rescue? I actually like this one. It has blue eyes. I like that. The purple is Those beautiful are the like detail, and I like the blue. wings. What is casing like that? Okay, let's see. Can I take the camera real quick? By the way, I give this one a 3 out of 5 as well. If you look, there's like a bunch of detail on all the legs and stuff, and like, if you turn it around. It's focusing on trees. There's a bunch of detail like in the back. It's very accurate. The eyes are slightly tinted. So yeah, I give that a good 3 out of 5. Okay, so we'll go to Drax next. This is a really cool one, if you ask me. It's How long is this video? So far? fifteen minutes. So almost. long. We're gonna have to cut okay. a little bit on it. It's got baby, baby Groot, Groot, which is pretty it, epic. And it's got the mm, what's it called? Help me out. It's like what <laughs> mold. It has a little bit of mold on the top, like the green part of Groot, because oh, you know yes. how trees have mold on the top when you wear, like when you. Wear. Oh yeah, I see. Like the green part. Okay. I don't think it's really what mold is. I think it's like moss, but moss. You get the point. I like the design of Drax. How he has like the red detail in the tattoos. Yeah, and the shorts. I give it a four out of five. Three and a half. I really like it a lot, though. It's like I thought we were gonna stop giving halves. Okay, we can't pick Loki up by the head. Oh yeah, we can't pick up Loki. He doesn't. So it's a long story. Okay, Casey got me this one. And yeah, I got it for him for his birthday. Yes, and I'm I got it out of the box eventually, and then its head came off. I'm pretty sure it's Barnes and Noble really exclusive, if that's a thing. I don't, I don't think it is. Okay, sorry. I really like it. It's gold. It's nice. Okay. It a nice big Let's page. move on to the next one. We gotta one. go faster. And this is Dancing Groot. Wait, we forgot Wait. to rate it. Um, I give it a 5 out of 5. Because he got it for me. Uh, no, I like all the detail on it. I, like four I was gonna five. get it for myself. I say four out of five. 
Okay. Okay. Good I move. like this one a lot. It has the nice. It stuff has like detail like, coming out of his head. Yeah. Like, and then I can't really see the top. Even in the pot, it has like dirt. Yeah, I give that one a four out of five. Yeah, I like the smoothness of the pot. I give it a three out of five. Right? This is the I'm lowest sure. rating I've given Superman. No, the only thing it's Han Solo and Superman tied. Uh, oh, yeah. Gamora is actually really cool. So this is her and Strider up here came in a two pack. It's Marvel vs. Capcom. Well, you, it's you like probably zoom in on which exclusive. one's Strider. Okay, everyone knows that that's Strider. Okay. <laughs> I've never heard anyone talk about Strider. Yeah, well, it, I don't. I don't mean everyone knows. I mean it's pretty obvious. Comment on the video if it's pretty obvious, okay? Um, Gamora is pretty cool. It's part she has of the Marvel White. vs. Capcom series. Yes, as I said. And I like the detail uh, here. Just purple hair and it's white. I don't know what the original one looks like exactly. Okay. But I give it a. F I, I give, give it a four out of five. I give it a three. I really like it, but I don't. I hope you guys can tell the difference between our voices. By the way, I give this one a four. This is the next one we're reviewing. It's I give it a three out of five. I like the hair. It's great. Okay, hair. let's see. So sweet. Okay, let's move on to this one. This one gets a one. I, I give it a zero. It okay, skip it. Oh, whatever, I don't care. It's, like, it's um, zero to five stars. I choose zero. Pretty sure it's one to five stars. The hair isn't even that detailed. It's literally it's like just slightly detailed. Now, moving on to someone else who's, like, not insanely detailed. Or it doesn't really or look like a pop. It's Mr. Skeletor. Flaming Skeleton. From, from Minecraft. Minecraft. I like the flames on it. I like how it's, like, pixels Wait, and stuff. For one of the ones up there. Sure. Okay. <laughs> yeah. The skeleton is pretty cool. It has a bow. I give it a two and a half. I'm still going to count it. I'm giving it three. Ooh. I like it. Mm. I don't know why I like it. I just okay. like it. Maybe because I do Minecraft videos Moving on, on my channel. Wait, we need to plug our channels real quick. No, we're not. We'll plug them in the link. Link in the description to Panhead Gaming, a super fan of gaming. That's our other channels. Oh, so mm. we're not going to plug them, he says. Says the name, he says. Cable it's from the comics. Okay, yeah, it's like comic cable. I like the different colored eyes. I'm just gonna say that. Yeah, like I never really see different yeah, colored eyes. I like yeah. it. I give that cable a four out of five. I like the blue. I like the metal arm. Yeah, and the gun. I give it a four out of five as well. This is okay. original Deadpool. I give this one four out of five. I give well. that a three out of five. I really like it, and it's like super classic and just un. Okay, we can't make this a twenty minute video. Go go go. We got the video to 10 minutes. This is Lying Down Deadpool, pretty much the same. I like Lying Down Deadpool more. I give it four. a 5 out of 5. Still give it a 4. I give Kaysen's it a 5. Kaysen's judging really nicely. Um, I like the expose, by the way. Uh, Falcon gets 3 out of 5. I like I give it. I it a 4 out of 5. I, it's very basic. Well, not very basic, but kind of basic, and I like the clothes on it. And it's, like, really original looking. I don't know. And then... Dan Marino over here. I really like dolphins. That's why I have Dan Marino. I like his football. I give it a four, I think. Just It's my first pop as well. The paint is messed up on mine. I give it a four out of five also. I don't know why. I, like I just really like it's it. Really like, it's, I like that it's huge to show that he's like really muscular. And if you look, number 422, Walmart exclusive, glow in the dark, Dark Phoenix. Okay, okay that was the epic intro. Time. <laughs> I don't know why, I just like His that. eyes. I think her eyes and her chest glow in the dark, I think. I really like this one. I give it a four. Four? No, three. Four, actually. Yeah, four. I, I give like it a hair. five out of five. I like how the hair flows. And the gold and the red. Yeah, that's almost... I give it a five out of we five. We have one more. It's we not do. really a pop. It's pop heads. It's beast. Oh. Beast gets... I give Actually, it a 2 out of 5. Out of five. I really like these. I give it a 2 out of 5. I don't know. I like the pets. It's really basic. So, that concludes our video of all my pops. Subscribe Actually, to we Panda should probably Panda say Pop. our favorites. I'm pretty sure both are favorites. It's my Wicked. favorite's Hulkbuster. Oh, mine is Wicked. His is Hulkbuster. This comes in close second. But if we're talking regular pops, mine is either... Wait, is this a 6-inch? Yes. Okay, uh, so if mine's we're either talking regular pops. Darth Vader or cool, cool, maybe cool. I don't know. 
My favorite is Flashpoint Superman. That was a joke. I hate that one. <laughs> um, my favorite's probably War Machine. Okay, boys. That concludes our episode. Yeah. Subscribe. Like the video. I'm just kidding. You don't have to, but if you like the video, you it can. helps us out, and we want to grow and try. And we'll do a bunch of stuff once we get like more subscribers. Like. We'll do something at 10, and it probably won't be that exciting. If we get a thousand likes, Kaysen will give me all his plot medicine. If we get a thousand likes, I'll go bungee jumping. You really don't. Okay. Just kidding. No, I won't. If we get a thousand likes, um, I'll buy Hulkbuster from Gary. Or trade me. Okay, gamers, this is the end of the episode. Yeet! Let's go.